I mean, Cleveland, Ohio at Beachland Tavern loading in. It's raining. Um, you're listening to Nursery Podcast from Ohio's Creative Voice. Thanks for listening. We hope you're having as much fun as we are. something a little different today. There's a guy named Devin Belito, or as I like to call him, The Lito, from East Palestine, Ohio. He puts up like funny YouTube videos and stuff. A lot of them are kind of blog style videos. You can find him at uh, uh, DB Films 1984. That's on YouTube. And I'm going to just play you some audio clips from his excursions. And then I'm going to kind of soundtrack this episode from a guy who's also from my hometown county, Columbiana County, from Lisbon, Ohio, named Jared Lawrence. Uh, you can find him on One Soul Nation, on uh, if you search that in Reverb, in Reverb Nation, if you want to find his music. So, I don't know, this is kind of a weird hodgepodge, but I thought it might be kind of fun just to change it up a little bit. So, um, uh, see how you like it, guys. Again, Devin Belito doing some audio blogging that's originally from his YouTube videos and music by Jared Lawrence, One Soul Nation. Got a fighting quote inside of me. No love loss, sort of thing. The loyalty depends on how you spell it. And my strength will depend on when you're near. So, what are they gonna say? About the future And what are they gonna do About the past And what are they gonna say About the future And what are 
YouTubers, what's going on? It's Seven back here once again. To the first ever, this is Not My Kitchen. And I went down to my local Walmart and I went and bought some veggie food from Morningstar. Here we, I'm gonna try the sausage links. I'm gonna try the veggie bacon. I'm gonna try one of these griller burgers. And I'm going to try the buffalo wings. Oh, what do I do to put myself through this just for entertainment? I'll see you back here in a second once I get ready to repair myself. Now we all know that breakfast is the most important part of the meal of the day. So first, I went ahead and opened up the veggie bacon. This is what it looks like. And now, I need to find a plate, because I'm going to microwave these instead of putting them on the skillets. Alright, so here we have, I put a couple of slices of the veggie bacon on a plate below. And now let's go ahead and hover for the microwave and I'm gonna put these in there for about so oh, let me look at the package here. Do, 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 do. Two strips about a minute, about one minute to a minute and a half. I'm gonna go about a minute and ten seconds and see what happens. So let's head over to the microwave. The damn thing will open. Okay, microwave is open. Now let's set the timer here. About in 10 seconds. Okay, so I just pulled these out of the microwave and they look like they feel like they're crisp. A little bit hot though. Okay, let's take a bite, let's see how it tastes. Hmm, I'm actually not that upset. This actually tastes like bacon. I actually ate these two pieces of bacon. And mm, so how do I rate the bacon? I rate the bacon a 10 out of 10. It's actually really good. And hello, you're being joined by a guest. I say hi, Emmy. Hey, hi, Emily. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Let's try the veggie sausage. I'm a little bit leery about this. Let's go ahead and put this on the microwave. Wait. All right, so I put a couple of sausage links on there, and oh, it legit looks like dog shit. <laughs> looks like dog shit on a plate. That does not look good. Okay, these go in here for, let's see, two links. I'm going to give these about... Really yummy. I'm going to give these about, eh, maybe about, fi about 50 seconds. Let's see what happens with 50 seconds. Okay, so I just pulled the sausage out of the microwave, and it still looks like dog shit. <laughs> it looks... legit looks like a dog turd on plate. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let me wait for these to cool down. That's what seems cool enough, so... Let's give it a taste. Ew. Oh, no, that's... Uh, oh, no. Ugh. It's like... The smell was okay. But the taste, oh god, no. It tastes like a mixture of dog shit, dog food, and dog shit. Ugh. 
I'm sorry, but the sausage, zero out of 10 dog shits. These are definitely going in the trash, these are definitely going into the trash basket. Moving along, uh, but next I'm gonna try the Morning Star Farms Grillers Original. This looks like a, it looks like a hamburger. Does it taste like a hamburger? I guess I'm gonna find out here in just a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna go with the microwave again. Uh, I can, I'm gonna put it on the microwave for about, uh, I'm gonna say about one minute. And then I'm gonna give it a taste test. Oh, that does not smell like a hamburger. It's still, ugh. It's been, but it's been out of the freezer, so. Okay, it's out of the microwave. Let's take a smell now. <laughs> oh no. That smells like a mixture of dog food. And again, dog shit. Grab a fork here. Oh, what I do for entertainment. Let's give this a try. Okay, I'm a little bit upset by the taste because the taste like it's unseasoned and it's like un it's like an eaten unseasoned I don't know it's like a ugh, it's like eaten unse unseasoned cow shit. Ugh. I'm sorry, this is not good at all. I don't know how you vegetarians do it. Zero out of ten cow zero out of ten cow shits. One more thing to try and then we're done. Okay, last but not least, the buffalo wings and hopefully these are boneless because I do not like bones inside my wings. Boners inside my wings. No boners inside my wings. See what we gotta do here. I don't really wanna, don't really wanna cook five wings, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Five wings, about one to two minutes. Let's hop on over back to the microwave and let's throw them in there. Oops, not 10 seconds. I guess a minute works. Okay, both of the nuggets are out of the f uh, microwave. Let's take a smell. Oh, wow, that's over. Holy sh. Oh, very overpowering smell of these. Okay. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Let's try it. Ah, oh, fuck. Say this it definitely tastes like. It definitely tastes like a chicken nugget. Emmy, what do you think? You want to try one? That might be a little too hot for you, baby. But I'm gonna tell you what, I'm not complaining. I'm actually not that upset by these. It legit tastes like a boneless buffalo wing. It does not taste that bad. I'm gonna give this, I hate to piss vegetarians off, but this is getting a 9.5 out of 10 stars. Why 9.5? Because it's not real meat, it's veggie protein. Okay, so that was me trying vegetarian food, and that was thanks to a bunch of people on my Twitter that saw that post. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to try, because I will try, almost try anything just to starve to get entertainment. So, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, give, the, give it a thumbs up. Follow my social media make, links in the description below. And also, come follow me, follow me on Patreon at Patreon dot com slash dbfilms1984 I'll see you next time if you like a bigger video later
the weatherman said sunshine. Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, filmmakers out there, it's DB Films 1984 back here again with another video. And I'm going to do another installment of trying weird food. Instead, it's not just any food. I've got some chili nut M&M's I'm going to try right here for you on camera. So let's open up the bag and dig in. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting combination they would put, they would put inside this bag. Because I see a few colors. I see a red one. I see an orange one. And this is like a slightly, ooh, hmm, a little bit of a lighter red, but uh, let's go ahead and try one. Not tasting any spice in that one. Oh, after the second one, here comes the heat. Oh yeah, now I feel the heat. Oh. Wow, those are a little bit spicy and a little bit hot. So, there's going to probably be a little story behind how chocolate met chili. <clears throat> well, chocolate decided to be a whore, decided to go to a party or a rave or whatever, and she meets chili. She connects with chili. Chili wants to go upstairs and fuck her brains out. But while Chili's there, she also met coffee, and she also met honey, and she did decide to have a foursome. So, who knows? So, that's just a little short video on me trying Chili Nut M&Ms. So, I want to hear anybody. Um, so, I want to see your comments down below. If you, uh, which flavor you're going to vote for? You're going to vote for coffee nuts, honey nuts, or Chili Nut? And me, since I like spicy things, I would go with the chili nut because they're awesome. So leave a so leave me a comment down below if you got one. Uh, hit that subscribe button to become part of the film crew, and I will see you guys next Saturday with a brand new video. Later.
Mario. Mario. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Devin back here again, and I'm going to try something a little different on my channel today, which I have never done before. Tonight, I went to my local Walmart and bought six different kinds of tuna creations by Starkist, and I am going to try all these flavors for you today to see what I think. So I'm going to tear it right into the first one, and what we have here first is hickory smoked. Oh, it just jizzed on me. Wow, it even smells like it's hickory smoked. But it's always the important thing is the taste. Now, if you're a person who likes your stuffed hickory smoked, hickory smoked tuna is definitely a good way to go because it actually has good flavor. So I give this flavor a 9 out of 10 because I like hickory that much. Moving along to flavor number two, we have herb and garlic. Wow, it's only 110 calories single serve. Wow, does that mean I can't get fed on tuna fish? Okay, good, this one didn't jizz on me. <laughs> oh, it actually smells like herb and garlic. Yeah, it looks like I see little spots in there. It looks like it has a, it looks like it has a disease or something. But it's always important, but the important thing is always the taste. Oh, kind of the same. I mean, I taste a little bit of. I um, don't want to taste any garlic. I don't want to taste any herb. I just taste regular tuna fish. Might be because I still have the taste of the hickory in my mouth. Hmm. Even though I like herb and garlic, it's that flavor gets a 10 out of 10 because well, her, her, well, garlic herb that's good. And this is a completely new flavor to me because I've never seen it. But it's Kid Creations by Starkist, bacon ranch flavor. Now, if you're like me, I like bacon and I like ranch dressing, which that's not bad either. Oh, good. This one didn't jizz on me either. If you sniff. <laughs> oh, it smells like a crab's vagina. The taste is always the important thing. Well, this actually isn't bad. I kind of had my doubts about uh, how this was going to taste. Of course, I don't really taste any kind of... Of course, I taste some bacon flavoring in there. Definitely taste the ranch. But it's not bad, so I'm also going to give this flavor 10 out of 10. It's not bad. Next on the list, we have sweet and spicy. If you like uh, things that are sweet, if you like things that are spicy, like I like my Chinese chicken, sweet and spicy. I know, Felix, you probably want some too, huh? You're going to have to wait, Bubba. You're going to have to wait. Of course, my cat here is eating all this tuna fish, now he wants some. Oh, oh no. Thanks for listening to Nursery, a podcast from Ohio's Creative Voice. I'm your host, Lee Boyle. We are sponsored by the Speaking of Music show at YouTube. This is a podcast that delves into the music of yesterday and today. Check them out. We are also sponsored by the Orange Avocado. Check them out on Facebook. They have uh, raw vegan gluten-free desserts, and they also are starting to do um, some cold-pressed fruit uh, juice drinks. So stay tuned to that. Uh, make sure you go to thirdclass.net. Check out my music with my band third class buy a record um buy a t-shirt donate some money and then if you want to laugh go to bullskit.com and check out bullskit productions my comedy troupe uh we don't go do live shows but we have a bunch of online youtube uh comedy skits that you'll probably appreciate you'll find one that you like if not more so make sure you do that and if you yourself would like to sponsor an episode of nursery or more episodes than just one make sure you email me at clograve at gmail.com c-h-l-o-e-g-r-a-v-e at gmail.com or just uh, go to thirdclass.net and go to the contact form there and find us thanks again for listening